Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be working on my 81 Fiat. Um, this morning I tried to start it and um, the car stopped. So, we're going to take a quick dive into what's going on. I figured I'll bring you guys along, that way you can see something interesting. Or see me struggling. Um, first thing we gotta check is that the coil's putting power. So easiest way to do, grab one of these test lights, throw it into a plug, and uh, we'll be able to figure out whether there's a spark to the, to the cylinders. Alright, keep an eye on that. Okay, so you don't see any spark. Now we're gonna check out 12 volts of the coil and move on to see if the coil's bad or if the ignition control module's bad. Um, the coil is new as of a couple of months ago, so it should be fine. Grab your handy dandy multimeter. I'm afraid, seven bucks. Okay, so way to check the coil. This is your primary winding and then the middle is secondary winding. This car should have the primary winding should be 0.6 uh, ohms. Secondary winding should be around 10, 10 kilo ohms. With the key on, you should see 12 volts to both posts on the ignition coil. Lower numbers indicate the ignition control module's faulty. I'll give some tips how to check the internal coil, uh, the magnetic pickup as well. You just take out the take out the line to the magnetic pickup and then you check the resistance all right easiest way to check the coil you have to take all this stuff out horseshoe mode to 200 this multimeter has some resistance to begin with so that's 1.3 ohms resistance on, on this multimeter. Whatever the reading you're getting, you have to deduct the 1.5, 1 1.3, right? 1.3. So if you can see, you should be getting 2.0. So reduce to 1.3 out of that, so it's 0.7 or 20k. If you have a digital one, which is auto range, it should automatically pick up, but this does not. And one of the outside posts, one inside post, um, that's 10 kilo ohms, the secondary winding. So the coil's good, we know that. I'm gonna take this off. This is our magnetic pickup coil, lying from the distributor. I'm just gonna check the resistance in there. That's 811. Well, minus the 1.5. So what is that? 809, 808, let's just say. So the magnetic pickup coil is good. This coil is good. Uh, moving on to, we just have to replace the ignition control module. The car should fire right up. Funny thing, that's the only thing which I didn't replace on this ignition system. Well, plus the magnetic pickup coil, those all Relatively new. It's a Napa flavor. All right, right there. Um, this is a four pin GM style. Doesn't really matter which one. I actually have the original GM product, AC Delco. Always keep one of these in hand. Um, I'll put the part number and um, that's your common wire plus minus going into the coil and then this thing you can screw it up it's two different plugs maybe this one
cover it up as much as possible. That's good enough. All right, going back in the car. Um, well, oh yeah, this is a flamethrower. Okay, I'll toss this in the car and um, I'll show you guys the progress afterwards. And if the car doesn't start, this video is not going to show up. Oh yeah, the coil, make sure you have plus minus correctly. Alright, moment of truth. Okay, I'm gonna just put it back. This should technically fire. Oh yeah, actually, we can test um, 12 volts to the... Okay, remember the numbers before? 10 and 3 on the other side, or whatever. All right, let's put the key on. Check 12 to the coil. Twelve point three nine. Twelve point three nine. So we're good. It's uh, well, we're not good until we start it. Hope you guys um, like this video. And if you do, please like, share, subscribe, give a thumbs up, or or do whatever. Yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please type it in there. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Now I can actually drive this in tomorrow.